Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Remember doing the Boss Talk radio. Hey, Trey, hey, Trey he was running around with, old, with Melvin. Because Melvin called me and said, yeah, he said he met you. He was with the mayor. I said, uh, I remember my old dude with the mayor. I said, but he said, yeah, he didn't he identify as no gang member to you. He was, I said, in the suit. I said, well, where all, I ain't where all this coming from. I'm confused. He said, whack, the nigga 77 years old. How else he gonna get somebody to look at him? You don't hear this nigga name in no music. You don't see this nigga in no movements, in no nothing, no nothing, no nothing. 77 years old until he starts screaming whack name in 2022. Yo, 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 man. Hold up, man. Uh, man, listen. I was scrolling through, man. I got sent a few things with this review stuff, man. And lo and behold, man, I see why WAC 100 speaks out on the OG Pyru, which y'all know how I rock with OG Pyru, man. A real, real cool dude. I linked up with when the when they when they fell out, Charleston White and all of them bunked out, and it, it went crazy. But I met him in LA. And then I'm being honest with you, man. It's just been a dope uh, uh, a relationship thus far. I love the history you tell about uh, the Pyrus, Compton, and all. And so I hear this. I, I hear my boy Wack. Wack goes in and says that uh, he talked to Melvin. And it's crazy because I'm like, man, I ain't know them. They even talk, you know. I ain't, I'm like, dang. So where this coming from? And I and I'm like just surfing, and I, I hear it when I hear the the the, uh, the uh, clubhouse thing, and I hear it. I hear him say boss talk. I, I tune in because I listen to Wagnum because I like the show. I always be listening to what they saying over there because it always be something going on. So at the end of the day, man, uh, I had to tap in with OG Pyru to see uh, what the heck was going on out there because I you know I ain't out there, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on. OG, you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on? Man, I'm. what's going on with you and Wag, man? Wag. I, I, man, Yosemite Sam, he's like an orphan child, man. Everything is going good. On uh, and bombed it, bro. It was a united front and standing, but you got all these antagonizers and these uh, podcast gangbangers. Now, let me say one thing. This is uh, Mac, Mac Leroy, and which his name is not Cash, it's Mac Leroy. Uh, Yosemite Sam, he called Melvin Farmer Friday night at nine o'clock. Wait a minute. So you said so? Whack called Melvin. He called me allegedly Melvin allegedly right after okay right after after the midget got off the phone Melvin called me and told me he just got off the phone with Wack One Hundred and that Wack didn't want no smoke and I'm like man I ain't got nothing he he started this he started talking this and this and that so he's always talking he's on Clubhouse talking about. It wasn't no hood day. How would he know? Because he's never been to a hood day. But I thought that so so y'all didn't never resolve when y'all had talked way back when when y'all were going back and forth when 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 you posed had the bag put on your head. And when the bag had put on before he was gonna knock me out for ten thousand he didn't change the story from Rose Crying two different times. Now I had a church suit on and I was some church people. That ain't even it's not even credible. I met that uh, little bitty man in 2016 at 15 in Game and Drake when they was at, but, at, on Black Wall. But where do you think this is coming from? Like, like you guys have been pretty much kind of quiet here lately. Where does all of a sudden now y'all start back going in? How does this happen? You know, he, man, man, Yosemite Sam is drowned. His his career is over. Uh, Birdman, they may mess with him. It ain't no cash money West Coast. Birdman says he's a buster. So all his artists are falling off on him. Now he's trying to make a con. I don't need him. What me and you doing on Boss Talk is elevating himself on I Told Lamar, OG Pyru. He said, I'm not in no movement. I was just on, right? I told you Saturday, he called me. And uh, I mean, he called Melvin asking about me. I talked to Reggie Wright Jr. Sunday. And Sunday, Reggie like, man, I'm not back in this. I'm not good. He, everybody giving him a disclaimer. Wait, so Reggie, Reggie Wright said he wasn't backing him. Man, Reggie, Reggie didn't put out that he is not, he don't mess with uh, Mac, Mac Leroy. He, him and Yosemite Sam, he don't do that. He said, well, man, I just told him because allegedly Yosemite Sam put out that him and Reggie was trying to bail uh, Keefe D out. 
Now, when he got down to it, he's such a liar that the state of Nevada, he talked about a $200 million deal he got. The state of Nevada said he didn't have $100,000 worth of current income to bail KPD out. So your, all that bad, I wouldn't go to no hood day. I wouldn't go to Compton. And I got, I'll stay up in Calabasas and I got these homes. So when y'all had the thing the other day, I, I could, he, on, on, uh, what he was saying was it wasn't even no day to do that. But you and who, who all was out there, you in the game and YG, like what was that? And and was it, it? I mean, he's saying it wasn't really, it wasn't a day to. I mean, he's not the ambassador of Pyro. How he know what day it is? He wasn't there. So whatever day is a beautiful day, every day is Saturday. So YG made the call and you had. Uh, eight, uh, uh, eight, nine family swans. You had black, uh, uh, black pea stones. You had bloodstone villains. You had bishop, uh, 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 bishops. Uh, you had a uh, east side pain. You had waterfront. Py you had every pyro set damn near in, in California. Their buddy Yosemite Sam didn't show up. What about the game? When you and the game ran in each other, because I know you had already spoke out and said that. The game and him wasn't there when y'all did the thing that they not like us video and the movement for Kendrick. Well, game, game. Uh, he, he's, his, his, his explanation was I wasn't getting into no politics on what was happening on 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 a concert. Okay. I'm sure, because I didn't want to get between. I f with Drake and I f with Kendrick. But when the call came to Compton for Pyro to show up, he showed up in his roles with no bodyguard, anybody. So he came by himself the game, or he came, he showed up by himself. He came up by, he, hey, um, I said, man, I'm here. He celebrated, I'm uh, up and down, he came up and down Rosecrans, and him and YG. Well, I tell Yosemite Sam, get your crew, get your, get your camera crew, come across El Segundo, and I'm going to change your life for you. So you saying you want you want you want Wack One Hundred to come 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 to Compton? Yeah, I, I give a Wack One Hundred challenge to get his camera crew and and Adam Twelve and all them other crackers that he deal with, and they come across El Segundo, come to Compton, and I will change his life. It won't be like them two white boys that he hired from the Actors Guild. Wait a minute, you saying he hired the two white boys when they were fighting? Uh, man, we found out the two. He gave them five hundred dollars a piece for that. You got to get in a fight. All of a sudden, somebody taping it. The man is a jerk. The man is a straight clown. He ain't took no fame. Where I, I'm a legend. Reggie Wright tell me. He said, "Man, I never told. Uh, man, you was around with my father. You broke my father. Then, then, yeah, I'm legit. I can go in my neighborhood. Matter of fact, Sunday night I went out to a Mary Mary concert in San Fernando Valley. Right? Okay. And I left. Me and my partner left San Fernando Valley, and I went down Paxton. Paxton is his neighborhood, right? Where okay. Where he's supposed to go up Pacoima, right? So you was in his neighborhood. I went to the scene of the crime where Bo from uh, Village Town Pyro allegedly killed an undercover police in 87, right? Right. Where was he at? I was on Paxton in the apartments where Bo from Village Town Pyro. Village Town Pyro is from Compton allegedly killed an undercover cop is in the penitentiary right now free young boat where was whack 100 at well, let me ask you this you you challenging him to come to compton um and you hanging out in his neighborhood i mean can you guys will you guys ever be able to uh call a truce or meet up and talk I mean, we, the truth is right now. He stay in 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 in, in uh, Calabasas and Dubai and Mexico, wherever he stay. And you know, you, and here's a man. He talking about he talked to a crip about Pyru business. You talking about the the call he made? What about the fact yeah. that he's saying that you you got on the stand or something? Oh yeah, he, yeah. But now the man that he talking about had full immunity to the police. If when you told he is not in jail for nothing I said, Shug called me and asked me he needed some help because Terry Carter's wife and their people was trying to sue him on a civil lawsuit. Just like I'll sh one of my homies, I'll rob for one of my homies, I will testify for one of my homies. Wow. That's what I call loyalty. It was a civil case 
and I got on the stand and did nothing happen to nobody and they didn't get no money out of sure because they didn't have no money. Let me ask you this. this. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. But this is cool. is on social media every day tattletailing on people. Big Q is on grid, so-and-so work for the police. How you know all this information? Well, let me ask you this. If, if, I, if I pull up, if I, can, if I come out to Compton, you think I can sit down with you and Wack and get an interview and, and just try to talk this out? No, he ain't coming. I would, you don't think he'll come? Man, you could offer him $100,000 for him to come and sit down with nobody. I, I'd want to. I could get if I can get him on Boss Talk and get you and him on the same panel. Maybe we can resolve the issue. What's the result? What's the result? He's a nobody. He says I'm a nobody. I've been in Compton all my life. He only been on 142nd Street. He has never been nowhere past Wilmington, and uh, other than with, with with game and a video, he ain't been up and down the streets. He ain't been to Lutus Park. He ain't been to the mob. He ain't did nothing. None of that. Make yourself legit. Come out one time. I Wow. Man, OG. OG Power Roof calls out WAG 100 to come out to Rosecrans. Come back. Come out. Come out. Where are you hiding? We're looking for you. Wow. So um, one thing I can say, man, um, I just know that. You know, you guys, man, when it come down to what you guys did over there, you, YG, the game when you had him over there, man, I thought it was dope to see y'all all come together, period. Everybody on the Internet was talking about it in a positive way. I just didn't. And, and, and when I hear what Wagner was saying, I was like, man, it kind of question, like, what day was it? Like, he's saying it wasn't a day to do that. But, I mean, but who, I mean, how can you make that? Why are you trying to walk something down that you're not a part of? Wow. Okay. All right. Why are you trying? Why are you trying to solidify it? What day? It was a Sunday, and Pyrus came out, and nobody argued, and nobody fought. You wasn't there, so why do you even have an opinion about it? Wow, man. Hey guys, that's OG Pyru, man. Ayatollah Marv, man. Wack One Hundred spoke on him, and basically. Uh, Hey, he's just letting you know, like, what what uh, what do you guys think? Do y'all feel like uh, WAC 100 was out of place to speak on the OG Pyru? Or do you guys feel like um, basically uh, they should come together and have a sit down and try to resolve? OG Pyru not trying to hear it. He wanted him to come to Compton. What do you guys think? Get in the comments. Let us know, man. Because, like I said, this thing is is brewing, man. And I like I said, I, I, thought, it, I thought it was a truce out there in L.A. I, I thought it was a truce in Compton. LA. No, L.A. and Compton, I thought they was trucing. That's what we seeing on the YouTube channels. That's what I thought was going on. It, it, but that have nothing to do with uh, 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 Yosemite Sam. He's not a part so, of the So WAC 100 is, is not a part of the, the, the coming together is what you're saying. He, he, that's what he said. It, wow. was, it wasn't no hood day. He ain't been to no hood day. Which hood day he's been to? Wow, let me get off here, man. OG Byru, man, I can't wait, man. You got to come. I, I got to get you down here to uh, Texas, man, soon, man. Get your own boss talk. I'll be there. I'm, I'm saving my food stamps now. <laughs> man, just let me know when you want to come, and let's do it, man. Thank you so much, man, for calling in, man. I appreciate it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Bosses talk. It was a Boss Talk 101 review, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.